and prayer. And while we're praying, let us remember uh, John Harris. Amen. We're praying for his, uh, his healing and for his salvation. Pray that the Lord will touch his body and move in a special way. Amen. And also, I would like for the church to pray for healing for Sister Regina Gilkey. Amen. She's not feeling good in her body. Pray that the Lord will touch her body. Amen. And also, we have a victory report from Brother Bates. He's been released from the hospital. And all of his tests has been that name. Amen. Amen. Would that be all? Is there any unspoken prayer requests? You can make them known by the raising of your hand. Amen. Let us all bow our heads in prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for blessing us, Lord Jesus, to wake up this morning clothed in our right minds with a reasonable portion of our health and our strength. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for the word of God that we heard this morning, Lord Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for blessing us, Lord, to come back this evening, Lord Jesus, to receive from you again. Lord, I want to ask, Lord, you open up our hearts to receive your word right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for also your presence that we feel right now in the sanctuary. Now, Lord, when I ask, Lord, you move on these prayer requests that have been submitted before you, Lord. You said in your word, by your stripes, we are healed. Touch right now in Jesus' name. Touch right now in the emergency room, Lord. Touch right now, Lord, if somebody's sick in their home. Lord, touch them, Lord, from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, Lord. Let your healing virtue flow, touch them with your finger of love. And we'll be careful to give your name, the praise, and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.
nobody greater than our God. Amen. Amen. At this time, we'd like to prepare our hearts to give. We'd like for the ushers to come to receive this evening's offering. And I'd like to remind the church that coming up this Tuesday will be our church's monthly uh, prayer and fast day. So please pray and fast accordingly. Amen. Amen. Mr. Allen, would you please pray? Jesus, we give you praise for being a day in the house. Thank you. So we have the privilege to give. We ask you to bless the gift we give. And we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord praise. Come on. 
like mine and um, Sister Muldrow's age group, they're starting to get curious about the baptism and stuff because Jalela had told everybody, yeah, I got baptized. You know, it's not bad. It was, you know, and they're like, well, she's real little, you know, and if she can do it, you know. So I just want to thank God, Jalela, that you're witness to these other kids that just because you're little, you don't have to be afraid that that's what God wanted her to do and what she did. And I just want to thank God for that, that the kids are realizing at a young age that they need to listen to the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Let's give them glory one more time. Yeah. Give them glory. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to completely wipe out this nation. But, amen, they can testify. I guarantee if they were here tonight, they would probably join, amen, the testimony service and said, we're still here. Oh, come on. I said they'll join the testimony service and declare to us, amen, not only are we still here, but we still got some land that have been promised to us, amen, by God, amen. Yes, as the man of God told us this morning that the promises of God, amen, are yea and amen to them that believe. They are sure, amen. You can take it to the bank. Come on, if God told you something, amen, you could believe what God has said unto you, amen. You can't kill God's purpose in your life. They were born with a purpose. Amen. And hear me tonight. Since the conception of this church, the devil wants to do everything it can to destroy the church of the living God. Praise God. Amen. It's not in my notes, but I can hear the Holy Ghost say, Upon this rock, I will build my church. Hallelujah. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. Anybody believe that we are part of something that is unstoppable? Anybody believe that we are part of something, amen, that cannot be contained, amen, by the evil forces of this old world? Come on, we're part of something, amen, that will survive and has survived the test of time, amen. The born again believer, amen, can rise and testify here tonight, amen. I've been through the struggle, but I'm still here, amen. I've had some hard times, but I'm still here. If you've been like that, would you clap your hands tonight and would you give God a praise because you're still here? Amen. So just like Israel, the church is still here. The reason why is it they're still here is because God ain't done yet. I, amen, want to echo the words we heard, amen, from this morning services, praise the Lord, amen, that the church of the living God, amen, cannot get comfortable and settle, praise the Lord. Amen. That's probably one of the reasons why we're standing in this pandemic here today. Amen. Because God wanted to shake the church. Amen. Out of its mode of complacency and trying to fit into a place it doesn't belong. Come on. Amen. This church wasn't made to fit into this whole world and its system. Amen. The children of Israel really never found a resting place that they could actually call home because their home, amen, was not, oh, help me God, their home was not here. Come on, somebody. Amen. We have become too caught up and tied into the things of this world that we do not even long to be, amen, in that other place that we call heaven. Come on. But there's a longing in this old boy here tonight, amen, that wants to get out of this old world and to get with the Lord. Anybody want to get out of here one day? Hallelujah. Be with the Lord Jesus. I want to. Amen. I remember a little toy, amen, that was stuck in a box. Amen. And when you dropped the box, it said, hey, I'm stuck in here. Praise God. Amen. And you dropped it again and said, hey, let me out of here. Come on. This world is simply a box. Praise God. And it's got a whole bunch of things that's trying to keep us locked in and bound, amen, to this terrain. Hallelujah. But there's something. There's something on the inside of me that's trying to get out of this old world. Come on. I know I must be here to be a witness. I know I must be here to do diligence, praise God. Come on, is there anybody yearning to be in the eternal realm with the Lord Jesus tonight? I want to be there with him. Praise the Lord. Help me, Holy Ghost, here tonight. Hallelujah. It began with one man accepting the responsibility of obeying the call of God. Amen. Abraham responded. All, all the power.
power of one. On. One right decision. Come on. Thankful, amen, to the Lord that I was able, praise God, to find myself, amen, in an apostolic church. It was at that moment an apostolic church. It was, amen, a church that still believed in the power of the Holy Ghost. It was a church that still practiced the principles of of the word of God. Amen. I was thankful. Amen. For all of that. I was thankful. Amen. That I was able to hit an altar. Amen. And still feel the glory of God fall in the house of the Lord. I was thankful that I made that one right decision to repent of my sins. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm thankful that I made that one right decision. Amen. To turn over a new leaf. The gang life didn't do it. The penitentiary couldn't help me. Come on, somebody. Amen. I'm thankful that I had one more opportunity to make. Come on, there's power in making one right decision. Amen. You can sow the seed of one good decision that could change. Amen. Hallelujah. The trajectory of your life. Anybody here wants to make a good decision tonight? Hallelujah. You came to the house of God. That's a good decision. Hallelujah. 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 One more prayer. Hallelujah. I remember the time where everything was tight and it was very difficult. I couldn't find my way, hallelujah, out of a, amen, as they say, a wet paper pad, praise God. I couldn't get out, hallelujah, but I had the ability to make one more prayer, praise the Lord. And because I prayed that one more prayer, hallelujah, I found myself crawling out of a difficult storm that God said enough was enough. Anybody thankful that you had the opportunity? Amen. The power of one. One more praise. Come on, one more praise. Prophetic praise. Uh -huh. Don't look like it's going to happen. Uh -huh. But you don't have to wait until uh -huh. the battle's over. You can shout right now. Ah, hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. You don't have to wait till the victory come. Amen. The Bible says shout for joy. Amen. Didn't say you had joy at the moment. You can shout for joy. Praise God. Whether you got it or whether you don't. Come on. Anybody got to shout in their spirit tonight? Oh, hallelujah. Come on. Thank you, all three of you. I wonder, can anybody else shout? You shout when you get mad. Can you shout when you got to praise for the Lord? Is there a shout in you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes it's hard to pull a praise out of people. Amen. But unless you touch their buttons, their hot buttons, then they'll say something. Come on, somebody. Amen. We scream and holler at everything else, uh, but it becomes difficult. I know it's uncomfortable at times. That's what the Lord tries to do is pull us out of our comfort zone. Amen. And into a place where we can receive something great from Him. It's all right sometimes to shout, amen, for joy. Praise God. Amen. I, I remember times where it didn't look good. I remember times when the struggle was real. Praise God. Amen. And yet still somehow, I don't know, maybe I was just foolish enough to believe that I could give God one more praise and something could happen in my life. Come on. Amen. I shouted for joy. Anybody got to shout in them? I'm reaching for a shout tonight. Anybody got to shout? God for one more day. Another opportunity to get up and to give God even our life. Thank God. One more day. I look at the scripture and I see that old lady, amen, that after 12 years she could say, amen, I thank God for the opportunity to touch him one more time. Hallelujah. 
Amen. The doctors didn't help me. I got broke spending all of my money. Amen. And one touch from the master. Amen. It eradicated 12 years of misery. It eradicated 12 years of isolation. It eradicated 12 years of pain and depression. Amen. And he... Amen. One touch from God could take away 13 years of struggle, could take away 13 years of bitterness, could take away 13 years of hardship. Come on. One touch from God. My goodness, there is power. Amen. When, when you can get a hold of the Lord, Isaiah 61 said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the open of the prisons to them that are bound. Folks that are locked up, that don't know how to get out. Amen. I got the opportunity tonight to tell you one more time. I know the way out. Hallelujah. And your way out is up. I wish I had help tonight. I said your way out is up. Come on, you've been looking down far too long. Down at what you can do. Down at what abilities you have and what you don't have. Hallelujah. But when you look up, praise God, you have the potential to get a hold of a God that's not bound by impossibility. He's not bound. unto the Lord. But the Lord said, I'll take your ashes uh, and I'll turn it into beauty. Come on. Amen. You, amen. It's been ran over. It's been set on fire. And all you got left, come on, is ashes. Praise God. But the Lord said, just give me your ashes because uh, I can take ashes uh, and make a beautiful life uh, out of it. You don't have to settle. Amen. For ashes, you can settle for something better.
I can make something out of you. All I need for you to do is look up. Come on. You don't have to run around begging all the time. I can take that man up. I can take your life and just give me the change and I'll make something out of it. Just give me what you got and I can make something out. He said all I need is two legs and a piece of an ear. Amen. That's enough. Praise God to make a saint. Well, I'm going to try to live for God when I get everything right. Come on. Well, I got news for somebody here tonight. You're never going to get everything right. Every, it's never going to be everything good. Amen. You don't get good to get God. Come on, somebody. I need your help tonight. You get God, and God will help you to get good. Come on. If I want to do better in my life, God. Because, because I was born. To praise him. Yeah. I was born. Yeah. To bring glory. Amen. To his world. Yeah. He didn't have to have me. But he chose. Me. Wish I had help. Yeah. Yeah. He chose. Abraham chose to go places. He's never been before. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Hallelujah. How many of you like to step out of uh, into a place where you have never been before. To be honest with you, nobody does. Because it's uncomfortable. That's right. Who are you? That's right. Why are you looking at me like I have three heads? Y'all ain't gonna help me. Yeah. 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 Come on, somebody. That's right. I, amen. And to go somewhere that you ain't never been before, amen, it's not easy. No. Amen. Amen. We do. I, I pray, God, take me places. I mean, you haven't prayed that. Take me places I've never been. Anybody ever prayed that? No. <laughs> no. I have. I want to do great things for you, God. I want to go places, amen, in the Holy Ghost. Amen. God, I've never been before. Take me beyond my own self. I pray those prayers. Hallelujah. And I constantly find. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, it's, it's, oh God. He does it. <laughs> Amen. Why? Because we're born to praise him. So he's in a place. Amen. He's never been before. But he's got to trust God. He's never really served God before, but he accepted the challenge. He could have said no like some of us do. I don't want my boat rocked. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come here, I want your boat rocked. Don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat. I'm fine with a little wind, uh -huh. little waves, but don't let life get out of hand. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> we want to control more than a decision to panic. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Because we think we can do, we actually can do better than the Lord. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yep. we, want to, we want to control the uncontrollable. Come on, amen. Y'all yeah. yeah. ain't going to help me tonight. I'm trying to hurry up. In living for God, your boat will be rocked multiple times right. by storms or right. situations amen, that are amen. out of your control. Amen, amen. But we can rest assured that if he's not in the boat, he's on his way. Amen. Amen. Oh, I wish I had any believers here tonight. If he's not in the boat with you, then he's on his way to the boat. I wish I had him tonight. word Jew in Hebrew is Yehudi and that's not good Hebrew that's Ebonic <laughs> good, job. good job brother <laughs> Amen. 
Praise God. And it comes from the Hebrew word for praise. Thanksgiving. Yes. And worship. Yes. A Jew is one whose identity is based on praising God. That's right. Giving thanks and worshiping the Almighty. A Jew is one whose very existence is a praise and a witness to the existence of God. Amen. You ever wonder why they continue to try to stamp out these people? Amen. Because they're trusting in something, amen, that the world have no idea about. And yet these people are still here. Yeah. It's strange. Amen. The world, amen, is crucifying a people that wants to simply praise God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. What strange is people who recognize that they were placed here to praise and give thanks and actually add value to the world are hated and cursed and warred against. Right. Yeah. He ain't never been like that. Boy, it's something else today. Because here's why. I'm trying to hurry up. They don't fit in with the crowd and they don't dance to the same beat. Amen. Or the idea, praise God, that they have. Amen. And because you can't contain them, the idea is let's get rid of them. Amen. Anybody know what was written? I'm trying to hurry up. I hope this makes sense tonight. We'll bring it to a close. Anybody know what was written over the man Jesus when he was hanging on that cross? King of the Jews. The King of the Jews. The King of Yehudin. Amen. His life was the epitome of the word Jew. His life, amen, was a praise unto God. Oh, hallelujah. Everything he did was to bless, to worship, and to glorify God. Hallelujah. Even the crucifixion, amen, was a praise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Listen. While he was being crucified, he didn't stop being the king of praise. I wish I had that. He didn't stop being the king of the Jews. Praise the Lord. Amen. He never succumbed to evil. And while you and I sometimes face crucifixion, amen, or a people ostracizing you, don't you ever.
Yeah. Well. Oh, that's good. He came, Lord. Yeah. Glory. We know Jesus came to do what? Die. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Too many of us will live. Yeah. Yeah. Preach. Preach. Oh, Preach. Go ahead and make it plain, man. Goats and sheep. You know the difference? The goat don't just go to the slaughter. No, it don't. It wants be. <laughs> it wants his life. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And if he knows that you've taken him to a place that's uncomfortable, Correct. he's in a fight, praise God. Yeah, he does. He should have every night. Sure he does. He's in a fight, praise the Lord. Amen. Well, my son just got him a little dog. What is the name of that dog? A Kalahula? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Praise God. And Lord help me. He is. He helping me. When he come out, amen, when the dog come out, amen, the first thing he does is he runs to those two little bowls sitting right there in the kitchen. Praise God. He's hungry. He want to eat. Praise God. And if you don't take him there, amen, because he's little, we can, man, I can kind of dictate right now and tell him I'm training him. You ain't going over until I get ready for you to go over there. Praise God. Amen. But he fights because his will on the bowl, amen, with the food in it and the water. Praise God. He don't want to be trained right yet. He just have a strong desire, amen, to get something to satisfy his flesh. Come on, somebody. I wish I had help here tonight. Amen. That's goats, right? Amen. Uh, we don't want to just be trained correctly. Amen. We're so used to living in this flesh. I wish I had help here tonight. I'm so used to doing it my way. Amen. Amen. The thought came to my mind as I was thinking about this service and this message. Amen. About me. Praise God. It came to my mind like the wicked witch of the West. Come on. Mm -hmm. Anybody know who she is? Yes. Now, I'm not talking about in character. Amen. But all I could hear as I think about what God is doing in my life, all I could hear was, I'm melting. I'm melting. I'm melting. Y'all ain't going to help me here tonight. Amen. I'm melting. I'm me That's all I can hear. Amen. As God is rearranging some things in my heart and in my mind. As God is, amen, actually taking me and pushing me. Under. I wish I had help. It's all right. I'm not trying to fight with it. I just don't understand it all the time. I don't like it all the time. I ain't gonna. Tell, I ain't gonna lie. I don't like it all the time because of things that I'm used to. Because of the stuff that I'm used to. Amen. I'm realizing God. That's why I don't say much because He's changing me. Come on, somebody. And I need God to change me. Unless a corn of wheat fall to the ground.
we're born to praise Him. Amen. She, we call them numb. I wonder if they're really smart. Because they follow the good shepherd. And another voice they will not follow. Amen. Yes, that's right. I think that's smart. Mm -hmm. When he comes calling, they just go. And if it's to the slaughter, to the slaughter, they go. I'm melted. Yeah. Anybody feel like you've been melted? Oh, yes. I'm melted. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to go like that. God is simply rearranging me. And, and because I was born to praise. Did you lift your hands to the Lord? some things that because our brain has been trained to do certain things mm -hmm. when you come to God you gotta, you gotta relearn some things yes. and, and that's not just true coming in the house of God that's true at, at, at different levels and aspects of yes. a change in your world there are some things that you just got to relearn yes. and God because God's trying to get praise out why? Why? Why do we keep fighting with the one that knows best? Mm. Our lives. Amen. Come on. Never. Uh huh. I think it's time that, that we all just let go. I'm telling you. He can make it better yeah. than we can. I'm melting. Anybody, can you hear that lady? We can wait till, was it the east or the west? The west. I'm melting. We don't want to melt, do we? Because he'll mess up what I think is my plan. In actuality, he's actually helping. My life. I want God to do what he desired. Listen, because I was born to praise God. Your life is meant to get glory unto the Lord. And if God's going to get glory out of our lives, then he's got to take it and make it the way he wants it. Amen. How many of you want to let him do that tonight? I want him to do that tonight. Amen. And one of the ways that we start doing that is we honestly and sincerely repent. Repent. It doesn't matter where you are tonight. That's right. 
how high you think you may be, what position you are in the spirit, it doesn't matter. Amen. Amen. We need to humbly repent of our sins. So God, here's a better word, sin is sin. Amen. But we need to repent of doing it our way. Amen. 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 So that God can do it his way. Yeah. Anybody want to do that tonight? Yeah. Amen. He's a perfect gentleman. He's not going to force himself on any of us. Amen. But you're born to praise the Lord. The life is meant to bring glory to him. Amen. So why don't we just kind of gather around. Amen. And, and perhaps you can do it as families. Amen. To, to where we're still practicing the things we need to. Amen. Just go ahead. Come on now. Let's just gather around. Amen. Lead the charge of repentance. Come on. Lead the charge of repentance. Hallelujah. It's all right. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God, I want you to have your way completely. That's good. Amen. I want you to have your way. Just lift your hands to the Lord. Father, forgive us for doing it our way. Come on, just talk to him. As a... Hallelujah. you this simply you were born to praise him let's simply begin to praise him right now all of you come on you've been born to praise him come on let's praise him come on let's praise him all of you come on let's praise him come on come on praise him come on come on praise him come on praise him come on Come on, let's praise him. Come on. Oh, the young guy, go hold it. We can do better than that. Come on. The Holy Ghost want to do something here. Come on, let's praise him. Come on. Come on, let's praise him. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Our problem is 
is when we get in the church, there's some unlearning that you got to get rid of. You got to get rid of. It. That's so true. Because most of our learning comes from the world. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Some of us have family members, friends, that don't really know the Lord. I challenge you this week. Start praising the Lord for his salvation. Call him out by name. And start praising the Lord. Because they can't praise him. That's right. But you can. You can. Hallelujah. Start praising him. Let's one more time. Let's lift up our voices to the Lord again. Hey man, hey man, come in a minute. Come in, Lord, want me to pray for you. Come on, pray. Quick, quick, yeah. Come on there, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord spoke to you in this service, didn't he? I'm going to pray for you. Lift up your hands to him right now. I want to be open him up. Pray again to praise him right now. Come on, let's praise him. Come on, praise him. Come on, praise him. Let the Holy Ghost fill her right now. In the name of Jesus, we got to want you to start thanking the Lord right now. Forgive me. Yes. He can get up for the He want to really turn your life over yes. tonight. Yes. Amen. Well, you want to get back to house tonight? Tonight we come in. That's right. Okay. Praise God. Let's thank the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.